Welcome to uh, Spoonie Plays Final Fantasy 3 while giggling inanely. Day 3. Last time on Final Fantasy 3, uh, somebody shot down our airship again and then we watched them try to murder their son. They died. We fought a dude. He died. We have a new airship. It still can't go over mountains, but we have a new airship. Also, it can't land on water. Also, this is kind of difficult. Wow, this is quite sensitive. I don't even know where I might want to. Uh, yeah! Oh my god, there we go. There is a town here. I want to land. It is very fast. It's kind of too fast, to be honest. It's so fast, it's hard to travel in one pixels. Why isn't my summon spell working? Let me try again. Yeah! Did you just summon a chocobo to dance at me? Chocobo, what am I doing wrong? Absolutely nothing. That was perfect. You should summon a Chocobo every day. Because that, that was amazing. And that's what I want to see with my life. What are these? Aw, oh, man! Wait, do we get Summoner? I don't have that! Wait a minute. Oh my god. Is that what Evoker does in this game? I... Oh no, is that what Evoker does? Hello, Raiders! Hi! I, sorry, I just realized that I may have misunderstood what an Evoker is in Final Fantasy III. <laughs> Might be freaking out just a little bit because I spent all of my money and now I can't afford to buy summons! <laughs> Hi, Raiders! Welcome! My name is Spoonie. I like RPGs and retro games. And I have this very lovely video to welcome you to the channel. Raiders, welcome! <laughs> Hi, I'm Spoonie. This in the upper right hand corner is my Congo African Grey Parrot, Ollie, and we're just a bunch of weirdos that like to play Final Fantasy, pretty much. So, hi, welcome! <laughs> we're pretty nutty here, too. I, I hope that's okay. Please, please just don't, don't steal our nuts. Because my bird likes those. <laughs> Thank you for the read, I'll tell you, the squirrel. How are you doing today? Did I see somebody mention chat beat Final Fantasy 1 for you? What? Were you doing like a Twitch Plays Final Fantasy 1? Hey, Karon. Hey, Rusty Shacklefort. That's a great name. <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Hi, Mega. Hi, Binary. How are y'all doing? No. Oh, oh y'all are just backseating the hell out of it. <laughs> Well, fair warning, I hate backseating. And this is my first playthrough of Final Fantasy III, but I have played and beaten every single other main numbered Final Fantasy, so usually I do okay, even if there's a lot of screaming. <laughs> Welcome, I hope you're all having an awesome Thursday. They just helped, you did 80% of the legwork. I'm willing to believe that. I mean, listen, streaming is hard, beating video games is hard. <laughs> It's all hard. Uh, okay, I was gonna actually check. I'm 
I'm gonna check and see. Can I get like, can I learn summons? Oh my God, I can. Oh no, this is a problem. I'm going to want to make a summoner now, but I don't have any money. Gotta figure out what I can sell. Or maybe go make money. I'm not sure. Come back when you're a little bit mm, richer. <laughs> I don't need this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be using feet, let's face it. I have a bell! So I got that going for me, which is nice. Let's see, you know what? I have extra dragoon helms and eh, I'm not gonna have more than one dragoon, alright? I'm just not. I'm just gonna buy one of each of those. <gasps> oh no! I just realized a problem. It takes up the same magic slots as everything else here. That could be a problem. I mean, I guess I can always exchange, so it, it doesn't really matter too much. I just need to not forget to do that. <laughs> hey, Psychology B, how are you doing? Yeah, 102 gil, that's enough to buy you, um... You could buy... Some bread. You could buy some bread with that, I feel like. Just put a basket over the shopkeeper's head. Oh my god, I just realized I never tried that in Morrowind Rappaport. Does that work in Morrowind? I got kind of motion sick, so I didn't ever try it. Alright. Um, I guess I'm just going to remove one of these. You know what? I don't use sleep anyway. That's really the only one that I don't know what to do other than, I guess, just remove one temporarily. Because I really, really, really want to try out Evoker now that I know it's freaking summoning stuff. Like, that's so dope. I'll just remove Thundara since that's... Also, naked right now. That's a problem. Not a problem anymore. Yeah, I've done a couple of playthroughs of Final Fantasy 1, fighting chaos at the end, and going through that whole dungeon. If you aren't prepared, it's very, very rough. Thunderer and Thunderer, Thunderer and Thunderer. Psychology B, thank you for resubbing for 10 months. Welcome back, I appreciate it. Yeah, they, like, FF1 is no joke, especially for a first playthrough, so congrats on beating it, by the way, Squirrel. Slayer. Oh yeah, I played Mystic Quest. I actually have the box for the Super Nintendo version. And I do technically owe the community me learning how to speed run it. So that's gonna happen at some point, probably, I don't know, like maybe like the last week of August. I'm running Final Fantasy IV's Paladin Percent at Flame Fatales on August 21st, so I don't want to start it before then because I'm going to need to do a lot of practice, but I'm thinking probably after. What does this old guy have to say? There was once a great and powerful mage named Noah who lived on the Down Continent, but he's no longer with us. Oh, well that stinks. What about this guy hiding over here in a circle I don't know how to get to? It looks like maybe I can like... Ooh, an elixir! Nice. Maybe I can go around, because it looked like there was some kind of ramp. It was definitely some kind of ramp. 
Although I don't know if that was just part of the background. No, sadly Mystic Quest has never been re-released. I really, really, really want them to make a pixel remaster of Mystic Quest because I would snap that up in a heartbeat. Like, think about how big of a bop the entire soundtrack for Mystic Quest is and how much of a bop it would be remastered. I need it, I need that in my life. Oh man, you wouldn't play it since you were 10? My first playthrough of Final Fantasy 1, I, I actually didn't get a chance to play it until I was an adult. And I did an all white mage playthrough. I wouldn't really recommend that. <laughs> it was fun, but it also took me 80 hours. Yeah, I don't know how to talk to that old dude, so I'm gonna save. And luckily, it looks like we actually have magic charges already. So, I'm going to take a look at what this is. Because it looks cool. I want to see what the summons look like. Stompy! Okay. I accept that. What about... It says escape. I don't know what that means. I I'm just gonna try out all these summons. Chocobo Kid? <laughs> okay! <laughs> you got through Final Fantasy 1 in 8 hours this time around? Oh, two warriors. Monk and a red mage, nice! The last playthrough I did, um, I did the Game Boy Advance version, which I also really like. Cause, I don't know, it's just, it's really chill and I like the extra content. That one I did a solo red mage run of, that was really fun. Oh, Mystic Quest was the first game you played in the Final Fantasy series, followed by, ah, by six. Six was my first one. Zach, there's really there's a fan remake of Mystic Quest? I hadn't heard about that. I wonder, like, yeah, is it any good? Is that worth looking into? So Evoker seems interesting. I'm gonna see whether or not. Eh, I mean, I'll just try it out. We have some stuff for it now, which is really neat. I didn't have stuff for it before. And we're supposed to be going to some continent that I haven't been to, but I wanna know what this cave is. Une's Shrine. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, I have this canoe. Do you want it? Nothing happens. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water. Also, this Can't believe it took Square really Enix familiar. 38 years to release a 2D version of Final Fantasy 3 in English. Bar sass. John! Thank you so much for resubbing for 38 months. At tier 2, welcome back. Hi, how are you doing today? Yeah, drops canoe on head, nothing happens. What? You need? Guards the world of dreams while she sleeps. She won't wake up, no matter what I try. Will she be stuck in a dream world forever? Nah, probably not. What the heck? Alright, hey chat, I have a question. This Uncle Ergnog totally... has a present for you! This part of, uh, this song is totally in Final Fantasy XIV, but I can't place it right now. So Zach, thank you so much for gifting us up to the community. Welcome on in to Tiny Eyes. I hope you enjoy those emotes. Can you come out and play? <laughs> no, I don't want to stop jamming canoes into everyone's thoughts. It's my thing. Have you ever just 
just wanted to slap somebody with a canoe? Duster. Geomancers use na nature itself as a weapon. They unleash magical attacks to move the terrain and pummel enemies. Dope, does that mean this place sells geomancer spells? Ooh, a bard vest. Hey, Silent Chaos, how are you doing? Oh yeah, this is modded font. I'm using a modded Mystic Quest font, but it's also super duper easy to replace the font in this game. What can I do for you? Um. Oh, you have other harps. Oh no. I very high key want this low key heart. I'm. Oh no. I'm gonna have to farm money. <laughs> I don't know what that harp does, but I want it. Oh my god. This town is just full of bards and geomancers. I love it here. Yeah, we also have, um, we're doing a thing called Awesome August, which is a month-long celebration. This year we're celebrating six years of me streaming on Switch. And one of the sub-goal incentives we have is for me to play the Final Fantasy I Pixel Remaster for a day with the Wingdings font. It'll be something. <laughs> It'll be something. Oh there, listen to this song of mine. Slumbering shadow beneath the lake binds his time for the day he awakes and the chains of darkness he shall break. Lord of the deep, Leviathan. Yo, that's dope. I know where Leviathan is. I just don't know what, what how do I break his chains? Oh, okay. He just breaks some chains of darkness. That's cool. I, I know where he is. I just don't I don't know how to do that. Oh, you have another song. Wingdings? Why? Why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, thank you, squirrel. Long ago, there were men who sought power, but that light would the world soon devour. When the strength overflowed, nothing could make it slow, so the mortals on earth could but cower. But four heroes of darkness did come to banish the light that had strung the realm to its limit. Now the light is diminished, and to darkness the world will succumb. Wow, okay, all of the bards have songs. That's cool. Odin, most righteous and chivalrous knight, for fear of his awesome and terrible might, sealed it away in a castle so tight, lest his dark soul eclipse even the light. So Odin's hidden somewhere. I thought he was going to sing something serious. <laughs> Here is a song for an item or thing that lends to the one's pockets fair fortune may bring. Thanks. Wee. Chok choko 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 bo chok chok choko bo choko chok chok choko bo go Hey. Thanks, buddy. I like that song. That's groovy. Can I get that on iTunes? What do you have? Lord Bahamut, greatest dragon of all, awaits a warrior, great or small. Should such a hero bring his fall, his power would be at their beck and call. Well, I know where Bahamut is because he tried to eat me. <laughs> he tried to eat me one day? I wasn't a fan. The down continent is south of this island, but good luck getting there. The high winds blow away everything that gets too close. 
Nah, I got a really dope ass airship, so I'll be fine. I think I'm good on that. Demon we'll Fang! See. Demon Fang! Demon, Demon Fang! Fang. Say thank you for gifting a sub to Lord Bahamut. Well, come on in. I'm gonna see what spawns here for money because I kind of want to pick up these hearts and see what they do. Hey, Star Controller. I am actually really, really enjoying the pixel remaster of this game. You know, that's actually true of Chris or... I don't know, well, I don't think we have enough for numbers, but we would have enough bard emotes for all of the letters. Let's see, I have 8,000, so what, I think it was only like 3,000 or 300 gold. Man, what stinks is I, dude, I literally just, sold all of those gold swords and I thought I was totally fine on money and now I'm totally not. Egg! Demon Feng Avalon Lurk. Egg! Miri! Thank you for 38 months. Welcome back home. How are you? This is not what I imagined a Kotobopus um, looking like, mostly because I'm generally familiar with the ones from Final Fantasy XI. They look very different here. Mm-hmm. Very different much, yes. Are these songs in the original game? Yeah, uh, this, it's the original music, but it's remastered and like reorchestrated. Six hundred and twenty gold. Okay. trying to decide whether I want to farm up all of the money now or just come back when I have money for the bard heart. I don't actually know what it does. Yeah, you can equip jobs to any of your characters and in the remaster that I'm playing, there's no penalty for it. really nice. Oh yeah, I'll see you can walk diagonally, which keeps throwing me off, but it's really interesting. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's illegal. <laughs> you can't move diagonally. how the 3D version handled the job penalty. It seemed like they were trying to make it less frustrating around the end, but it still maybe turned out a bit that way. But I, I also haven't played the 3D version, so I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. How much was the Loki harp? And I also wanted to see if, can I like read? Oh yeah, it just says a harp name for one of the gods. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say. It does not say. I 
I could make everyone really upset and sell my elixirs. <laughs> but I won't. I won't. I won't. I promise. I won't. I'm not a monster. <laughs> Ugh, I'm just like trying to figure out what I can sell off. Doma, 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 doma. <laughs> Jake, thank you for gifting a sub to OBG. Welcome, hi. Hi, Brawly or Dag. I'm going to assume probably Brawly since I think the Dag is still on vacation. <laughs> Also, no, I do use my elixirs. Ever since I did the four drop fiesta for Final Fantasy V, I actually have started using elixirs in games. Mm, I just want enough money to buy the thing. But I also don't want to part with all my stuff. This is difficult. Cause I'm like, I don't really wanna sell a lot of my stuff. Because there are a lot of classes that I might still actually wanna play. Okay, we're like 3K away. I think we can make that. I wanna buy this harp so I can see what it does and then probably inevitably be disappointed. But it was my disappointment that I earned myself. It's all about earning that disappointment. One day if I ever make a video game, I wanna make a boss that is the credits. Where you actually do need to use your elixirs. even worse. Wait, what do you mean? What if you need them later, Brawly? If you don't ever use them, then what was the point? You're just clogging up your inventory. That's poor inventory management. And I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just going to have to report you to the RPG Society for that. It's unacceptable. Hi, Zaru. It's going good. How are you doing? Wait, what? I, I'm i sorry, dude. Did it free just heal me? Is this game okay? Does, does that happen every time? what universe it is that I'm living in right now where a freak heals the party. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was definitely expecting more fire. Definitely expecting more fire. Pacifist Ifrit. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep using it. Hey Hyper Chris. Oh yeah, don't worry. I'm not I'm not really asking. I'm just thinking out loud, sharing my thoughts. Because that is the complete opposite of what I expected Ifrit to do was heal my party. 
He tried to turn over a new leaf, but he burnt it, so then he swore off fire for good. Understandable. I can definitely, definitely get that. Poor Freet. No longer an angry butthole, I guess. So then, wait, did, what did Shiva do? Is there, like, anything I have other than Titan and Chocobo that do damage as an evoker? Icy Stare. She just, you know... She wanted to prove everyone wrong and show you that looks can kill. Okay, I think I have enough money to buy that harp now, so I'm just gonna grab a bit extra so that we can rest at the end. Wait, oh no, now she is casting something different, Mesmerize. That's different. All right, I guess, um, I guess the summons do have a rotation of things, or maybe a percentage that is the likelihood that they'll cast one thing or another. That seems both really cool and really unreliable. I'm like, on the one hand, neato. On the other, do I really want that? I can apparently equip two harps. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, I can't. False, cannot equip two harps. Also, uh, we're still naked. <laughs> I just wanna go see what this harp does. Who really wants a powerful limited resource to be reliable in combat? Not me, that's who. Have a good night, Shadow. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. Wait, what? Uh, huh? Did I accidentally equip the wrong harp? No, I did not. Okay, so if this harp made no difference in what the hell I was singing, how do you get different bard songs? How even do? That is genuinely confusing. Huh. Well, I guess I can sell this harp. Because I don't need it now. Well, I can't quite. Uh, I'll just sell the other Thunder Spear. Okay, I don't 
think that equipping armor is going to actually give us any more spells either, but let's go find out. It's going pretty well, Vinny, although I am hilariously confused about how to unlock more bard spells. <laughs> there just isn't any. Like, I'm starting to wonder if maybe it is the pianos. Because that's how you learned it in Final Fantasy V. But I would have to go find some pianos. I wonder if there was one in the inn here and I missed it. Job level is nine, which you would figure would be enough to learn something else. So I'm not sure. probably going to pursue the piano hypothesis and see what I find. This is the first place with all these bards that I found, too. But I'm also like... How would you think? Wow, is this a lot of mountains over here? And I'm not really sure why. What are all these mountains with the homes for? Nobody answered that. It's just a question that I have that I don't know. I don't know what that is. Don't go to the statues, though. They are angry and will kill you. You know, that would make a decent band name. Angry statues that will kill you in your sleep. And then go antiquing. So there's that castle. And I've been there already. I'm trying to remember where the heck there was a town with a piano. Maybe it was this one? Hi, Rastra. Or are you headed out? Thank you for joining us. You rest well. I mean, this place's inn is bigger, so maybe? Perhaps piano? <gasps> you have a piano! Okay. Play the piano. Now that's a toe tapper. Come on, everyone, let's boogie. Yeah. You got me, you really got me. gonna teach us any bard songs but bravo no I guess not <laughs> Doesn't evoke her. Heck. Oh no, you started that toe tapper like half a second after I did, so it was an offset doubled song. I am so sorry, Tonberry. Are your ears okay? 
Well, I guess until we figure that out, I'm just gonna swap back to what I had. Or, I guess, uh, I sold my spears because for some reason I thought that I remembered buying the other ones and I was mistaken. So now my dragoon doesn't have weapons. So we're gonna be a viking instead. <laughs> Don't mind me! Just, uh, selling stuff. I shouldn't. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go back to Black Mage, too. I, I like the more reliable music. Reliability is good. We'll just all be Vikings all the time. Only Vikings.net. Unless I want to wait, do I have anything? Do I actually have anything for Dark Knight yet? Can we literally equip a single sword as Dark Knight? No. <laughs> I don't even know what to do about that class. Also, apparently, equipping claws makes your attack power go down as a black belt. Which is interesting, because that reminds me of the Final Fantasy 1 Black Belt. Does it do that for Monk? No, because Monk can't even equip claws. What? That's wild. That's wild. We're still gonna walk around as a Viking, though. Oh wait, I guess the level one doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter, I guess. Alright, anyway, uh, I guess we'll go to that continent now. That's a town I can't get to. Can I get to anything here? Maybe. We'll see. I am being attacked in the sky. That is not something I expected. Hi there. about the fact that they were named Simmer? Totally not. This is, no, okay, that's a dead end. What are those? There are things in the sky here, it's awful. I'm probably, by the way, I'm probably not going to use Dragoon at all until I just get weapons from somewhere else because I kind of accidentally sold those. Thinking that I had other ones. Swiggity Swooty, these harpies are coming for that booty. Also, hi Waffo, how are you doing? Also, also, Jay, are you making fun of Trap for that one time that he sold the ultimate sword in Castlevania? 
making battery scream at his own monitor. Doga's Manor! Who's there? Well, you had really nice music playing until you interrupted me. Trespassers, don't you know this is the Hall of the Great Mage, Doga? Seize them! Koopa! Wait, Koopa? Yo, shut up. Is your mansion full of Moogles? I'm sorry. Is your mansion full of Moogles? Because, um, you know what? That you can just do whatever you want with the four warriors of light. Just let me look at the Moogles. <laughs> just, 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 just give me the, just give me the Moogles. Wait, are you four? Can I get a mod for Final Fantasy 3 where the Warriors of Light are Moogles? <laughs> My word, if it isn't the Warriors of Light in the flesh! Well, if the Crystals have chosen you, far be it from me to question them. I have something to tell you. I know who's threatening this world with darkness. It's my old colleague, Zande. Along with Une, we were disciples of the greatest master of them all, Noah. When Master Noah died, he gifted me with his magic. He gave Une powers over the dreamscape. And finally, he gave Zande the gift of human mortality. Is that like when your dad dies and he gives your siblings all of his stuff and he gives you money for the taxi ride home? <laughs> no wonder he's pissed <laughs> Enraged by what he considered a slight um, Excuse me, let me correct that for you Enraged by what actually was a slight Considering he gave everyone else really kick-ass magic And he gave Zande death he gave Zande his inevitable death! Great! Wow, what an amazing gift! Zande sought to poison this world. I don't really blame him. He used the power of the Earth Crystal, combined with the technical know-how of the ancients, to bring about the Great Earthquake. But the Earth Crystal's gone! Goldor destroyed it. What? No, oh, that wasn't the real Earth Crystal! It was just a rock I enchanted to produce gold! The real crystal's still hidden away. Wait, you made a rock to produce gold? So are you telling me that you made the frickin' alchemist stone? <laughs> it's- oh, it's fine. It's undisturbed. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I just casually made this giant rock that just poops out gold. No big deal if it gets broken. <laughs> No big deal, just casually dropping the Philosopher's Stone into some castle. Whatever. Zande's tried to rid this world of light. He's trying to harness the darkness and use it for his own power. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. You mean, oh, how your friend got the short end of the stick from your master and now he's pissed and wants to destroy the world? I don't see how that's fallen. You mean he was shoved off a cliff by your master because he was the only one who was told, by the way, now you're gonna die someday, you're welcome? He cannot be allowed to unbalance the world. I will come with you and aid you in your quest. Doga join the party. Can I have your Moogles instead? Oh my god, does he have a cloak where we can't see anything of his face except for his mustache? <laughs> he's just... Okay, he's literally... He's just... He's just a mustache, got it. Doga is a mustache. Beautiful. 
Master Rune is the guardian of the world of dreams. She sleeps in the shrine in the south of Saronia, Kupal. <laughs> oh my god, the Moogles run the stores here. That's cute. Hi, Nehru. How are you? Hey, Cedric. <gasps> Aroga and Stona and Haste! Shut Oh no! Shut your beautiful mouth. There's so many good spells here, and I can't buy any of them because I spent all my money on junk. <laughs> now I'm upset! <laughs> These are dumb, and I hate them, so I'm using the money from them to buy good stuff. tempted to get rid of some of this. <laughs> but I know what's going to happen is I'm just going to regret it when I inevitably sell something. So I guess we're not going to be able to afford the rest yet. Master Joga told us that Master Zandi caused a great earthquake, Koopa. He sure did. Hey, Ultimate Darkness, how you doing? Oh my god, the smell of chocobos in the air. <gasps> you mean the smell of an adorable chocobo? Did I quit summon? Yeah! I'm gonna pick up some stuff that I can get rid of. Because it's garbage and I don't want it. level six spells yet, but whatever. Now I have them. Okay, I definitely touched that torch fully expecting it to just burn me, but sure, I'll, I'll take that. <gasps> yeah, magic restoration pots. This urn contains wellspring water, Koopa. Since you've received the light of the crystal, Koopa, you can revive or heal your wounds by drinking it. The cave of the circle is connected to the world of darkness. It's teeming with monsters, Koopa. I hope that Master Doga will be okay. Yeah, he'll be fine, probably. I don't know. We might get him killed. Oh, we gotta be mini again. I'm gonna go save my game real quick, actually. <laughs> hey, Sailor Peter, how are you doing? Also, I totally wasn't making fun of him for the abnormal mustache growth. I was just surprised. It took me by surprise, that's all. I wasn't expecting so much mustache. Alright, well, I don't know where this is gonna lead us, but let's go find out together. Hopefully not to our imminent doom. It might be, though. I don't know. <laughs> it very well could be. Teeny 
tiny. Cave of the Circle. Okay, this place looks really cool. Oh, wait, can I not unshrink? Nope. All right, so we have to be small. We gotta fight as small? Small. We are the small. I am small, 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 small. Small. Oh, good. Okay, they don't actually take a lot to kill, so that, that's very good. Also, they drop a lot of money. I like the small battle music. Hi, Belle! Belle, did you see the infomercial earlier? I mentioned viewer books, and I thought we could feel old together. <laughs> hey, Aliosa. Hey, Mark. How are y'all doing? I guess it doesn't is dealing all of the damage. <laughs> stairs. It looks like this might be a dead end. I don't know if there's any treasure down here, though. So, I am going to attempt to find that out. I'm also really curious how all of the enemies aren't small, and how they fit here, and maybe that's why they're so angry. It could be why they're upset. I feel like that's understandable. Wait, there was a time McDonald's had pizza? Really? Yeah, that's so it's just a dead end. Hey, Just a Game Hero. Hey, Darsh Aaron. Welcome. How y'all doing? Oh, no, we have mini cast on us, Aliosa, because right now we're. So some of the things in Final Fantasy 3, you have to either turn yourself into a frog or make yourself mini in order to access certain dungeons. So we have to be small here. We are required to be the small, so that is why we are small. <laughs> hey, Kishua. No, I don't remember McDonald's fajitas. Man, when did they have fajitas? It is a shame that in Final Fantasy IV, there's no place where you have to be a pig. It was a rock! Gargoyle! Na 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 Ow, these guys hurt. Very ow. Ow, ow, big ow. There. 
You're doing good. You visit a friend today. Oh, nice. Yeah, now I want pizza. <laughs> Every time we talk about pizza and then I just want pizza. I'm actually not sure if they have a mechanic like this in any of the other Final Fantasies. Not that I remember. I mean, there are sort of like interesting side mechanics. Like there's a dungeon in Final Fantasy IX where you can't use magic at all. And there's another dungeon where the lower level your equipment is, the better it is. Oh yeah, and there's a dungeon in Final Fantasy IV where you can't use metal weapons. Does it include armor? I don't remember if it includes armor. mine because it is a more squished font and I have a harder time reading it. It's also not too big of a deal since it is so easy to change. But hi, how you doing? We made it, but we can't rest. My life force won't last much longer. Wait, what? What does that mean? Here, let me cast a spell on your ship. This will allow you to travel underwater. Zapito Moo Kane! What does Kane the Dragoon have to do with Nautilus traveling underwater? You must go to the Temple of Time. This isn't Zelda. Under the sea at Cape Twin Horn, south of Seronia. There you will find Noah's loot. Why do we need that? The music of that magic loot can reach the world of dreams. You must use it to wake up Une and bring her back to our world. I, on the other hand, must go and fetch Eureka's key. Once you have found Une, you will need to commandeer the Invincible, a colossal battleship. What? Headshot. Shh. Yo, you mean the ship from Final Fantasy IX? Now go, find the loot, and awaken Une. We will see each other again, young heroes. That's so cool. So cool. I will warp you out of here with my magic. I leave Hune to you. Farewell for now, warriors. Okay, goodbye. I never expected this, especially, yeah, especially with the name Nautilus. I never expected to go nautical. <laughs> What in tarnation do you think this is, Code and Dad? Is some kind of video game where we go up in the sky and underwater? There's Leviathan, for Christ's sake. Can't he just come see us up in the air? Yeah, I did not. Well, let's expect that. Exactly. Also, I forgot that there are enemies up here, and they are going to smash me because I'm still mini. <laughs> I am so small. I should fix that. No more small. You want to play one after recently learning of its connection to nine? Oh, so fun fact, Alio, so you may already know this, but Final Fantasy IX is basically a giant love letter to the first six Final Fantasies. So if you love nine, you should definitely go back and play one through six or whichever one's in that section of Final Fantasies you haven't played. So far, I can definitely recommend the Final Fantasy III Pixel Remaster. I've heard good things about 1 and 2 as well, if those are just kind of easy access for you. They're all on Steam, and I'm hoping someday, TM, we will also get them on the Switch or something, because that would be neato. Hi, Thomas, Joe, how are you? 
are you doing? That pizza does sound delicious. Hey, Stuck, how are you doing? Well, I mean, hey, you know what? You know what, imagine? At least, listen, listen. At least this game didn't steal grass from Breath of the Wild, okay? I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm never letting that joke go. <laughs> Hi, Ash. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see ya. Let's take a nap. Vivi's my favorite too, this layer. I, I, it's probably really hard to see. In fact, I don't know if you can. Probably not. But I actually have a tiny VV plushie that's behind Appa back there. No, oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed Final Fantasy IX map, of course. It really is. It's just consistently my favorite, and I just have a soft spot in my heart for it. I do have some more gill. Although I don't think I want to spend any of it here. I just wanted to see at the end. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, I, I really think that they know that it would sell well on consoles and that they're just waiting until all six of them are out. Because you can't like, I don't know if it's this way on, on Sony or the Microsoft Store or anything, but I know on the Switch, like, I don't think you can, like, list a chunk of games where half of them are out and half of them aren't. I, I don't know that you can necessarily do that, so it might be that they're waiting for all six to be out so they can offer them as a bundle. Actually, the next time I play Final Fantasy IX, I'm planning on playing it with the Moguri mod. I've never played it with that. I've heard really good things about it. Oh, so actually, Rappaport, if you take a look on Steam, I, I know for Final Fantasy III at least, if you type in Final Fantasy III in the search box, it actually comes up with two options now. Final Fantasy III is the Pixel Remaster, and then there's another 3D one listed for the port of the 3D one. So I don't think they're deleting the other ones. I think they've just renamed them. You assume you could play it on Steam Deck? Have you managed to get one? I mean, I would guess so, but I unfortunately don't have a Steam Deck to try that out. Reggie, hi! <laughs> Also, we. We. Reggie, thank you for one whole heckin' year. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Hi, how are you doing today? Also, I agree. Like, I, I wish that there was a more faithful re-release of Final Fantasy IX. Although, granted, I do actually like the HD version. I completely understand why some people have qualms with it. I actually did play the OG version on my PS1 last time I played. You can, yeah, you can buy the bundle for one through six on Steam, Aliosa, but I was saying, I, I think that maybe that's the reason why they haven't put them on the Switch or other consoles yet, is maybe they want to wait until they're all out so you can buy a bundle on console, because that might be more complicated, I'm not sure. But this is all speculation, because, like, I don't work for Square Enix. I haven't heard anything officially from them. So it's definitely all speculation at this point. And just keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that they do, because I know a lot of people would love to have these on console, including myself. The re-releases have a really gross world map. Oh. 
Oh, I guess they didn't really notice. But then again, it's been like maybe two or three years since I played the re-release. The, I don't know, the main thing that bothered me, and it was just like a minor thing, I really missed the original font. <laughs> Cause like, I have such a soft spot in my heart for the entire original game that I, the original font gives me feelings. So then when it wasn't in, understandably, it wasn't in the remaster. Cause it's, you know, like 480i, but it still made me a little sad. So it felt really nice to play the original. Freya, how are you doing today? <laughs> you struggle with underwater exploration in games? FF7 made underwater give you anxiety because of the weapon. Oh, jeez. If it's any consolation, fairly, I've absolutely done that before, and I've definitely screamed very loudly on stream as it happened to me one time. So I can definitely empathize. My experience running into Ruby Weapon was, what the hell are you? Because I thought it was a dude in a cloak wandering around in a desert. Nope! No, it was not a small man in a cloak wandering in a desert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's understandable, Rappaport. I think that's another reason why I decided not to buy the bundle, is I kind of wanted to wait and see if they come out on console. You came to the wrong desert. Also, hey, Chad, I wasn't actually paying enough attention to where he said uh, the thing was, so I don't, I don't actually remember where I'm supposed to be going underwater at all. I definitely was not paying attention. <laughs> Everything just sort of floated out of my head about where he said to go. Subnautica cured your fear of water and games by forcing you to experience it constantly till you couldn't remember what it felt like to not be terrified. Yay! That sounds exciting. Is it, is it the big continent on the left? Maybe it was like right here or something. Cause it's this. Oh! Yo, that totally is it. Yay! All right. They did have like a visual marker for it. Thank you, foreigner. You were right. I'm gonna land here and I'm gonna save. Temple of Time. Cool. The door is locked. You know what? It's a good thing I still have like 20 magic keys because I stocked up. Ooh, a diamond helm. That is significantly better. Subnautica, the game of... Do you... Yeah, do you have crippling fear? Of underwater? No? Do you want it? Ooh, all the things. I like the music here. You really love it for real though. However, the first time one of the mega fishes attacked you, you just hit escape and quit immediately. I don't blame you for that at all, Rizu. I've had people ask me to play Subnautica, and I think the reason why I haven't is that I, well, a combination of I'm not sure how I will do, uh, fear wise. Also, I was a bit concerned about motion sickness because I tend to get motion sickness whenever I'm unable to figure out like where I am position wise. That's one of my things. 
So I worry that being underwater, I will lose track of where I am and then get motion sickness. I also don't like being chased when I can't attack back, which is why I will never, ever, ever play Outlast or Alien Isolation. Ooh, Defender. Yeah, it's all, I don't know why fairly, but the coin game stairs just, I literally had to go walk away. I was like, I, I can't, I can't even look at my computer screen. <laughs> Something about that was just awful for my brain. So I'm not, I'm not too bad with the distance and tour it. Disorientation, I can totally English. For up and down at least, because it's always up and down, it's always down. Unlike say Space Engineers where every direction is up, yeah, I could not play that. I definitely couldn't do that. Diamond Mail. So actually, the fact that I switched Spoonie back to Night is kind of working out here. I'll go left. Hello, Wavern. God, does that mean I'm gonna make a sword? Oh, nope, it's a dagger! It's a stabby dagger. Oh man, I guess maybe I should try out Thief. That's a dagger in Final Fantasy IX, actually. Shield, which I'm totally not gonna use because shields are for chumps. Hey, a behemoth! Cool. Oh, actually, it isn't hit as hard as I would think. Fantasy 2. Hey, I am how you doing? And oh yeah, no, like anxiety problems are definitely no joke. I have chronic anxiety, so I completely empathize with that. So each their own on approaching and dealing with phobias, because it's just tough. And it is okay that it's tough. Oh, 
I think I, yeah, I totally cast poison out. Oh well. instrument lost to the flow of time began to play a tender tune yeah we looted the temple exactly <laughs> you are correct Also, I'm happy to hear that you have Lahi stuck in your head, Nibelung, because that is the way it's meant to be. <laughs> Obtained Noah's loot! Yeah! We did it! There's gonna be no consequences whatsoever, right? Totally. do a lot of damage. Aha! I knew it! I knew there had to be a secret because I saw that room on the map. Got him. Protect. So much protect. Also, I am now very thankful that. 
that I did not. Oh, hey, it's a dragon. Oh, gosh. Uh, that could be a problem. I'm gonna use Thundaga so that hopefully it isn't one. Please not be problem. Please cease and desist being a problem. My Viking isn't doing crap for damage in here. I don't think I ever had a sense of actual time though, Foreigner, to be fair. So I don't I don't think it was the Temple of Time's fault. I just don't have any concept of what time is. I'm doing good, Okami. How are you doing? Hey Justinian. Yeah, all of the time is is pretty exhausting. I'm with you there, Intuist. It did indeed feel like a Friday, though, and you were big sad. Oh, because you still have to worry tomorrow now. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess for me personally, I would be here playing video games anyway, but... Oh, hey, good! Flame! That's my favorite ability in the game! How did you know, Mr. Dragon? How'd you know? Did Salamander tell you? Did, did Salamander tell you how much I love flames? Wow, 85,000 gil. Okay, that was really, really dope. I'm gonna make a quick save. <laughs> Excuse me while I make a quick save. Literally. Dang, man. That's a lot of noodles. True, dragons do collect gold, and now it's my gold. I'm also really glad that I found those protect rings. Because, ow. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh goodness. That is one dead Viking. That's a very dead Viking. Frick crack. through waterfalls, but we can walk through lava. It makes sense in my head. Sometimes. Okay, I get the feeling that up here is going to be bad, so I'm going to make another quick save. Thank you. 
you're moving too fast. You make sense in your head? That must be a really powerful change in thinking. So nearly is that why people say a penny for your thoughts? Another behemoth. Ooh, I wonder if that works. Let's find out. Possibly. It dealt damage at least. Revenge on me for making googly eyed Shaxx. And then also tweeting at him a picture of Shaxx with a beast trigger for a head and googly eyes. This remaster is really good. I've been really enjoying it. I like, well, I mean, like, I like pumpkin spice things. I just, I don't know, like, noodles just doesn't sound that appealing for a pumpkin spice thing. <laughs> That's just me, though. You do you, boo boo. I'm running out of spells.
right, heck it. I'm using this otter shroom. I'm getting out of here. Because I'm lost. I'm lost and weary, and I already have all the loot. Yeah, we have a super duper fancy airship now. Hey, Mr. Chia, how are you doing? confused a lot of people so far. Oh, yeah! I actually played Octopath Traveler the day it came out. Because it came out around my birthday. Man, what was that? Like, three years ago now? I loved Octopath Traveler. I think I played it for, like, 120 hours. <laughs> Trust is my favorite. able to afford the rest of the magic. play Noah's Lute. The sonorous strumming of the lute reverberated around the room and passed into the world of dreams. Yeah. I still- I didn't even try out the demo for Blade for the Default 2. Someday, I will get around to it. I just I have so many things. Like, <laughs> I'm also in the middle of playing Skyward Sword HD and Metroid Fusion right now. Which, we will be playing some more of those this week. Um, I've just been really into FF3. Uh, uh, huh? What? Una's awake! Una's awake! Squaw! She's a 
a cute bell hat on her head. That was a nice nap. Come here and sit on my shoulder, sweetie bird. Yes, ma'am. What? I'm still a bit stiff from such a long sleep. Gotta shake off the cobwebs. <laughs> Why do I feel like this grandma would be me? Hi. Mm, the name is your name, Overseer of the World of Dreams, at your service. I love her. <laughs> I've been asleep so long, I hardly know what to make of the world nowadays. Oh my, the real world is impressive, don't you think? Wow, all she's seen is the walls of this cave and she already finds the real world impressive but enough about that Doga managed to reach me in my sleep and told me all about you and what Zande's done first things first we need a ship strong enough to transport us up and over mountain ranges we should find what we're looking for in the ancient ruins to the north well what are we waiting for let's be off you're coming with what are you embarrassed to go on an adventure with a venerable old mage like me? No, that's not what I... I thought not. Well then, shall we? Yay! Kick-ass grandma joined the party. Oh dear, I almost forgot. Here. Obtain the Fang of Fire. What's this? It's another of the elemental fangs you've been collecting. With this, you should have three in total. Only with all four fangs can you hope to get past the statue Zande has guarding his tower. Oh, you mean the murder statues. Got it. <laughs> in order to find the final fang, the fang of Earth, you will need a formidable ship. Don't dawdle. Yay! We received the fang of fire from Mune. I just, I love her so much. <laughs> I love Hune so much. Oh, you got the Skyward Soy Joy-Cons. Nice. I'm glad you like them, Silver Moon. I'm hoping to eventually get them. I don't know if they were doing multiple prints or if they were just super limited, though. Hey, Twilight Vortex, how are you? I want to say I'm like, maybe... I'm at least over halfway with Skyward Sword, because that's basically all we played last week. It's been really fun, I like it. It's a good game. I can't land in the woods. Leto. I don't know if there was anything else I needed from here. What can I... Oh, I don't need any of that, actually. You've been seeing them go back up on different sites a lot, it seems like. Way more than the Amiibo. Man, the Amiibo looks so cool, too. And it had a nice bonus functionality. I just didn't... I didn't really have anywhere to go look for it. Well, I'm glad you were at least able to pick one up, Silver. I don't think anybody likes the artificial scarcity that Nintendo does. We keep asking them to stop. Maybe one day they will listen. <laughs> Fingers crossed! Whoa! What's this wild looking swamp place? So, we need an airship to get past mountains. Maybe our friend Dogen knows about that? Maybe Dogen would know something about that. Twilight? I mean, granted, I never played the original Skyward Sword, but I love the remaster. 
I think it's dope. Une's name is a reference to Dr. Un from Final Fantasy 1. Oh, yo, that's cool, Eagle Hi, Zephyr, how are you doing? I don't know if Doga's actually here or not. But I haven't tried to talk to him since we left, so I guess we'll go try. No, well, I don't want to walk all the way through there again. Master Doga has gone into the rift between dimensions to retrieve the Eureka Key, Koopo. I hope he's all right, Koopo. Yeah, I don't think that we know how to go to the Rift Between Dimensions, so maybe we won't be able to find him. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh, here we go. For Breath of the Wild, I had the Zelda amiibo, but I didn't get any of the other ones. I used to buy a lot more amiibos, but these things not so much because I don't really have any where I can display them all. AOD Talents TV. Hi Talents, how are you? Oh yeah, I'm definitely excited for four, five, and six pixel remaster releases. suspicious of any islands that are in the shape of a triangle. Wait, there's a squishy Metroid amiibo? Was that something they came out with for Metroid Dread? Does the Viking do anything special? has a really cool beard and can equip axes. And also you can taunt stuff. Aha! There's a cave here. supposed to go, but we are. <laughs> this is where I've decided we're going. It wasn't not a dolphin tiger. Characters can just basically fully heal himself from smacking things is great. Ooh, a diamond shield that I'm not going to use. Okay, there's stairs that way. Ah, there is a chest this way. That's what I think. You 
wish more games used in Eagles like they did in Breath of the Wild and stuff. Oh, like with little bonus items and stuff? Yeah! I thought that was nice too. I liked all of the bonus stuff in Breath of the Wild. It's really nice, especially if you're doing like super difficult modes. And okay, that's really cool. I got another defender and now I'm Torin. Because wow, -oh, that's a lot of damage, but also right now I'm able to heal myself with Blood Sword, which seems like good utility. I do have Wolf Link. to get that teleport without the amiibo fairly since it does seem kind of hard to get a hold of. Like I think it's a cool idea for like a little bonus thank you for buying the amiibo but at the same time if it's going to be really difficult to get a hold of to begin with then a little more mail on that. Have a good one to see game hero thank you for joining us. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a neat amiibo, but I feel like if they had expanded it to be, like, all Zelda amiibos or something, that would have been a little bit nicer. Or even not, like, not even necessarily all Zelda amiibos, but, like, several of them to give people a chance to get a chance to use them without necessarily having to buy a really limited stock one. Dual Tomahawk. There's actually multiple Skyward Sword ones, but they only used one. That is kind of weird. Hey, Fireheart, it's going well. How are you today? Shiny loot, holy crap. Power bracers. Wow. That's nice. Okay. Oh my god, I just realized that you can equip this. Sword. What is this do? Oh, it's not as good. <laughs> Slightly disappointing. Maybe it's equipable by Dark Knight or something at least. Hey Saul, how you doing? Playing one-handed now. Don't mind me, 
Yikes, playing video games with one hand because bird. It's officially a stream. You want to sit on my knee? I get you. Some more diamond stuff. That's good. Bacchus' cider and a black hole. Whatever the hell that is. Creates a rift to another dimension? Okay, that sounds really cool. item, but it won't let me use it in here. So I think we'll have to go to the maybe the main map or something. So that's what I'm going to try. But at the moment, my bird really wants scratches, so I'm going to instead walk one-handed through this cave. <laughs> oh boy, a back attack! You were actually kind of mad? People were trying to buy them off you? I guess to be fair, you can't really blame them for asking as long as they weren't like rude about it. If they were rude about it, that's different. Hi, Ollie. Hi. Hi. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. One person flat out called you a douchebag and thought that was a good way to get you to sell your cards? What is wrong with some people? <laughs> I feel like we live on two different planets! Like, not you and me, certainly, but like us and the people who think that saying, hey, douchebag, sell me your cards is gonna work out well. No, reverse psychology would be like, don't sell me your cards, hoping that you would sell your cards. Calling someone a douche is just really unnecessary. Or I don't know, maybe just say sure. I'll sell you these cards, but the price is your soul. <laughs> I 
Angry Trees told me that's a weird used car salesman. What kind of used car could you get for your soul, I wonder? Yeah, I don't know where the heck these chests are that it says I'm missing, so I'm um, Thank you, Angry Trees! <laughs> a 98 key is so on. I don't know if that's worth it, Reggie. That doesn't seem terribly worth to me. take Ghost Rider's bike, though. That sounds dope. Darn, I was hoping there would be some cave here. Instead, we found Noggles! You definitely keep the soul. You're not getting game stopped on now. <laughs> but Reggie, what if I told you I could give you a whole copper penny for your original Game Boy? What do you think? Good deal, right? <laughs> totally. Best deal ever. That is legitimately what GameStop offered me one time for my Game Boy, by the way. I laughed in the guy's face and left. dollar for your Gen 1 Sega Genesis? Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't even have, I don't have words for how absurd that is. <laughs> more fire heart well i don't know they might now because they i don't know they sell retro stuff online but it was like when i tried to trade in my stuff it was way 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 back when like the new dsi had just come out it was a while ago <laughs> have a good night tom Berry. i don't know if i said that out loud or not but if i didn't have a good night tom Berry. thank you for joining us my brain is as you can probably tell a little spacey today <laughs> Okay, also, we've been live for not quite three hours, but pretty close. Also, it's 10 p.m., so I'm going to take a small break here. I'm going to stretch my legs, and I'm going to get a drink. I did. Well, then I will say it a third time for the first time that I said it in my head, and then the second time I actually said it out loud. Have a great night, Tom Barry. You're wonderful. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go get something to drink. Also, my tummy rumbled, so I might get a snack. Thank y'all for hanging out. As always, playing Final Fantasy III here is really, really awesome, and I'm glad I get to share it with you all. Don't go too far. If you do, just come back, because there will be video games at this location. Oh, also, hey chat, who wants to watch the infomercial while I'm gone? Because I'll, I'll do it, I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll play it. <laughs> I ha hang on, I have to add it to this scene. I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs>
It's the info marshal for Awesome August. Have a good night, Brawly. If you're headed to bed, which I guess if you are, I'm surprised, but also that's totally acceptable and fine. I'm gonna play it. Do what I won't. I mean, I will. I just have, I just, I don't have it on the Be Right Back scene yet. I gotta click Media Source and then in this thing. Okay, it's gonna play. I'm gonna go get a drink. Hey there! My name is Spoonie, which most of you already know from, you know, twitch.tv slash products slash Spoonie underscore 3000, where we've got the raddest gifts and wiggly text on the web. We've even got a live visitor box. This month, we've decked out our site with a totally awesome interactive event. Awesome August! We have hidden Easter eggs, um, you know, pop-up ads so we can keep running our web. Yes, hello, my name is Lady McFancy Scarf. I'm sure you've heard of me. I'm incredibly rich. <laughs> I sure do love the World Wide Web. I, I love asking that Jeeves all of them. We tried to get a 3D section of the website, but someone didn't order the 3D glasses. Whatever. So, for 600 sub points, We'll be doing a streamy singles, which I know does sound a lot like Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, but you know what they say, macaroni's delicious and so are all of these incentives. We'll be playing the Final Fantasy VI World Collide Randomizer. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so much fun. I love being just like LOL Ransom. <laughs> <laughs> For 700 sub points, we've got streamy singles of Banjo-Kazooie, Ecom Bocum. Am I right, ladies? For 800 sub points, I'm going to do a Pop-Tart tasting slash ranking stream, which means that we're gonna take like, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, however many flavors of delicious Pop-Tarts there are, and we're going to put them up head to head, and I am going to explain to everyone why Frosted Strawberry is actually the best, okay? At 900 sub points, we've got Bad Slash Weird Game Night Offbeat PS1 Edition. That means I'm going to be playing a bunch of PlayStation 1 games that my friend chose. You know the PS1 Underground? They're going to be even more underground and offbeat than that. At a thousand sub points, we've got another streamy singles, Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster, Wingdings Edition, because you know how much we all love Wingdings. That text is just so totally crazy i love it oh and also i'm definitely going to photoshop ollie in a hot tub because hot tub streams are so fetch right now yeah fetch is not even a word right now at 1100 sub points we've got a streamy singles of pokemon emerald nuzlocke ransomizer lol more ransom penguins <laughs> At 1200 sub points, I'm going to play Power Washing Sim. At 1300 sub points, we're going to have an 80s movie night because, I mean, I know we all love the 90s, but the 80s were just like so low key cool. At 1400 sub points, Shuffler Night, BizHawk 2, number Community Edition. So, you know how the BizHawk Shuffler was a thing where the mod team actually got to choose like 50 games? that I like played and I had no idea what they were and they were bouncing around like bounce 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 for 30 to 60 seconds each it'll be like that except for all of you lovely viewers will be able to decide what I'm playing instead yay at 1500 sub points I'm going to do a green-haired Samus cosplay for the release of Metroid Dread, which, as some of you may know, is the Justin Bailey skin from the original Metroid. So cool. <laughs> At 1,600 sub points, we'll be doing a Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Run, except for we're going to do Flavio Percent, because, listen, if you don't think that Flavio is the best companion in Thousand Year Door, then you just... At 1,700 points, we have another streamy singles of Garfield Kart Online. Everybody loves Garfield. I mean, I know that he's not nearly as good as Calvin and Hobbes, but come on, Garfield is so old school. And of 
course, we all want to drive with him. Ha ha ha. Honk honk. At 1800 sub points, we have a Super Metroid randomizer playthrough. More ransa. Listen. How old were you when you found out Metroid was a girl? Let me know in our live visitor book below. At 1900 sub points, we have a Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core playthrough. It's like the original, but instead the protagonist has even spikier hair. At 2000 sub points, we have a YouTube video of me, Spoony, me, smashing the GoXLR for everything that it's ever done to wrong me. And I'm sure that that is just going to be swell. So if you would like me to smash a piece of technology that has been haunting my dreams like an evil demon for the past three years, absolutely help us get there. <laughs> 2100 sub points, we've got a Wand of Gamelon remake playthrough. Good. At 2200 sub points, we've got another streamy singles. Dude Bro Spoony, sub, is gonna play Fortnite with her friends Tropical Freeze and Jack Mango. Also, we get a new emote, everybody. Everybody loves emotes. <laughs> At 2300 sub points, I'm going to, um, Act like a grandma. My see, my nana, she so loves showing me these old games like Carmen San Diego and Pong. So I thought that we would do an old PC games nostalgia night where I dress up and I talk like this, like I'm a grandmother, and we play all of my nana's favorite old PC games. <laughs> It'd be so, 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 so. At 2,400 sub points, I'm gonna get a new tattoo. Y'all, I haven't gotten a new tattoo since like 1996, so this is a long time coming. <laughs> oh, also we'll get another new emote. At 2,500 sub points, I'm going to do a 100% playthrough of Final Fantasy X-2. 100%! That means that not only are we gonna get killer fashion and amazing combat, but we also finally get the true ending. <sighs> so worth. <laughs> At 2600 sub points, we're going to do an educational stream, which I know everybody like hates school, right? But this will be a cool school, okay? Stay in school, it's cool. <laughs> We're gonna do a stream about the evolution of memes. <laughs> so at 2800 sub points, I'm gonna be painting miniatures on stream, which means we'll buy like tiny little orcs and goblins and hobbits and other cool nerdy things and we'll just like paint them up, you know, instead of like this boring gray color, we'll make them colorful, just like me. <laughs> At 3,000 sub points, I'm gonna try a tang nut sandwich. Now, if you don't know what a tang nut is, it's this like really hip new thing that all the kids are eating. It's two pieces of white bread with mustard on one and peanut butter on another. And you smash it together like a PB&J, except for it's PB&M. And I have heard that it is something else. Um nom 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 nom, yum. I'm not helping with that. And then at 5,000 sub points, which I know is for us, uh, okay. But I had this long standing thing where if we hit 5,000 sub points, I will do a Baton Kaidos 100% playthrough, including the two weeks of literally sitting there staring at your screen, waiting for a bottle of shampoo to evolve, which basically means that we'll have, oh my God, like they just came out with this too, picture in picture. We'll have a little picture in picture of that going on in the bottom right of the website. <laughs> it's gonna be so great. It'll be like an evolving web page pot, but with video games. Also, a couple of other events that are coming up. At some point, I, Spoonie, am finally gonna do that cooking stream I owe y'all. Yay! I hope I don't burn it. And then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's August 27th, 28th, and 29th, we'll be doing a multi-day subathon. So anyway, Awesome August is gonna be totally awesome, and I hope to see you all there. <laughs> Bye! Am I ever gonna get paid?
This is at least giving me credit for college, right? to play more Final Fantasy 3. Also, I hope y'all liked the infomercial. <laughs> team deeper into the ruins, but an earthquake collapsed that adamantite wall. Now no one can get in or out. Now, oh, there was a cave-in and now we're at an impasse. Literally, we can't go any further. Aww. Shoot. Okay, maybe this isn't where I was supposed to go. Wait. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. No, it's fine. We have Une. She can take care of everything because she's great. I'm glad you liked it, Stuck. 
Let me handle this rock. If I demolish an obstacle in the dream world, it'll get rid of the one in the real world, too. Not even Adamantide stands a chance against me. Stand back now. Dude, what a cool grandma. I love her. Phew. These old bones aren't what they used to be. That took a lot out of me. No time to waste you for. The Invincible's further in. Good, let's go get it. Let's become invincible. Wow, that's um... That's straight out of Doom. That looks like it belongs in Doom and I'm scared. Ow, also it hits hard. Ow. Stop, 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 stop punching me, please. Also, it divided into another one. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't, oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, that's very bad. and multiplication works. This is hilarious, though. What happens if I just use, like, a Thundaga? trees here and how much did he laugh? I mean, probably all of it. <laughs> Our walls aren't very thick. <laughs> I 
I do really dig the spell effects. Well, that's what happens when a group of dudes just like decides to multiply and divide themselves like 20 times shockwave. You get a lot of XP. It's pretty dope. Also, hi, how you doing? Ooh, reflective mail. that lives up to its reflective name. Thanks. That's very descriptive. I mean, I'm sure that this is probably like, you know, an actual reflect piece of gear where I can reflect things. Wait, what? Do y'all sell stuff? There has to be some grand discovery waiting in these ruins. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. Why do y'all have like an armor shop down here? What is going on? I mean, I guess I'm not really gonna complain. I'm, I'm just gonna buy armor. Cause those are really nice upgrades. Oh, Une's following us. She's our grandma. She's great. Wow. 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 Oh my God, there's a lot of good stuff in here and I want all of it. This sword sucks. I'm so never gonna use that. I have too many of these. I also have too many of those. I could buy two blood lances and be a dragoon with two blood lances. money on blood lances. I'm doing it! It's time for you to be a dragoon, play. It's time for you to be a dragoon and dual wield blood lances. Cause you're dope as hell. I should probably know what that's I don't need those. Cool. And then I'll buy another dual tomahawk for if I want to switch back to Viking. Yeah, I'll stay and rest my body and mind. No, well, because I couldn't figure out how to get any of the bard songs as Rydal, and I'm too stubborn to ask. <laughs> so here we are. Let's 
walk around as BB for a bit. Weapons. Was there any more armor I wanted to buy? Let's check. Time to go find more stuff. Probably. Hey, Soiled, how are you doing? Alright, I really just want to see how much damage we deal. That was really good. I like that damage. Let's do it again. Can we get a, uh, a replay? Get it? Because play is a dragoon. And I want to see it again. Yeah! That's going to be disgusting, and I love it. Let's start with the bottom left. More items. Check. I don't mind his ruin so far. Oh, hey, it's more of these guys that divide. More XP slugs. Everything in here is the next piece slug. Well, or a dragon. Math, the dungeon. Wait, you put it up three? Hit Egg. recommended names? Did well, hello there, really? fellow game you aficionados. Got your name for one of them? When I want to keep abreast of the latest developments in modern gaming, I make sure to tune in periodically to the Spoony Show. It's really? with it and fresh. Tell your friends about it today. I mean, I guess we are. We're pretty hip. That's what I heard. Playing all of the latest video games made by those companies that you know the name of. Thank you so much for 33 months. Welcome back. I'm gonna melee stuff for giggles. So basically a bunch of black belt stuff. Got it. You know the names, but you shall not divulge them here. Ah, yes. Fine then, Soiled Wig. Keep your secrets. <laughs> Have a good night, Evil, and thank you for joining us. You rest well. Wait, why is play... Oh, games is in White Mage Hell. Yeah, well, not really. I mean, two of my characters have blood swords and stuff equipped, so at least they're getting that health back. Mage. 
Yeah, I actually don't think I've switched games off of White Mage since we started and got classes. But games is such a good White Mage though. They've got all of the points for it. I can't take that position away from them. Games is about to earn tenure at the White Mage Academy for people who hate melee DPS that stand in fire. because it was warm. Stand in the fire, DPS higher. Totally how that works. Every healer loves you. <laughs> Listen, I mean, if you're a DPS standing in the fire, you're just trying to do the, D the, the healer a solid by giving them more to do so that they can be higher in the healing meters, totally. How that works. Yeah, jumping also increases your DPS. This isn't jumping, but I can't really jump in my chair. <laughs> I can just channel the pain I'm feeling into my magic and then I deal more damage. while popping Soul Eater because he didn't warn his healer with an annoying macro from the 90s. News it now. Fairy Claws? Yang isn't in this game. Oh my gosh, there are so many of these dudes. And they didn't stag with blood weapon. Exactly, Rapid Karma. Their blood weapon was down for like another 20 seconds and they just couldn't possibly deal with the DPS loss, okay? How dare you expect them to have such a DPS loss? Unacceptable. Oh, hi, Karma. How are you doing? 
Thank you for always understanding my Final Fantasy XI references. Don't forget to put all of the annoying calls in all of your macros, Yami. I'm pulling! Da 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 da! Incoming Calibri! Boy, yo, 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 not really my department. <laughs> I can give you advice on how to beat Final Fantasy 1 with four white mages. I'm pretty good at that. I'm also pretty good at speedrunning Final Fantasy 4. Do the gaps shop at the gap? Wait, is the gap even around anymore? Does the gap still exist? You need to do their loyalty mission. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, listen, I can tell you how to get a girlfriend in Mass Effect. Make sure you do her loyalty mission. Make sure if you want to date Liara, you do her loyalty mission. All right, it's very important. I mean, to be fair, Corrupt, I'm also very happily married, but I've also been out of the dating pool for like 12 years. So trust me, I'm not going to have any useful advice for you. So just don't ask. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I went backwards. Did I? Oh gosh. Now I am very turned around. Oh no. I don't know if I was going up or down. I think I was going down? I don't know. I'm gonna start running away for a bit. break because there are classes with better DPS ones. <laughs> so I just stand there shrugging like, I don't know what you want from me. My limit break is mediocre. I'm glad, Corrupt. <laughs> I mean, after all, that is pretty much what I'm here for is hopefully to make somebody laugh. I consider it a pretty successful day if I have. Is mediocre some kind of advanced version of meteor? Yes! 
Yes, Reese, you caught me. Assert your authority as the limit breaker. <laughs> Assert dominance over your fellow party members for limit break. Hi, Toys Cats. How are you doing? Oh yeah, the Chrysalis, when people use Limit Break before the Ethereal Tear, then, then fairly literally, I just look at my screen and I do this. We're gonna die, we're gonna die. The Ethereal Tear is gonna kill us. We're gonna die. And then I try really hard to kill it anyway and I'm successful about 50% of the time. <laughs> Casters require more pew, fair enough. I think they do too. With harp and tune, I grant this boon. My mana is power for you. Oh, Requiem. <laughs> Hi, Bardo. Did you play a bard in FF11? I feel like maybe we've had this talk before. I actually did really like the song macros people had. other than probably don't take advice from a stranger on the internet is um you know openly communicate with the person that you want to be in a relationship with and that just kind of goes for all relationships that's it open communication with people will save you a lot of pain When you go in as a samurai and they waste the limit break, you just go, well, time to carry. I still never got that far on samurai, but I always heard it was fun. Whoa, big water. That's pretty. This is a really long dungeon. I can't imagine doing this without saving at all. I mean, hey, it's worked for me and my husband, so. <laughs> Ooh, a demon shield. Demon mail! <gasps> that must be for dark nights. Cool. I don't really need any of that. Also, this is really neat that, oh my god, you know what? This actually kind of looks like a uh, censorship from Final Fantasy VI. Or I guess I should say Setzer's ship looks a little bit like this one. That's cool. I don't really need any of that. What about magic? <gasps> Chiraja! Oh my god! Yes. Asuna removes all status animals except for KO. I like how they had to specify that. <laughs> Does not remove KO status. Just a reminder. Asuna and Reflect, to be honest. 
so I'm gonna sell something else so that I can afford that. while I learn magic that I don't actually have the ability to use yet. achievement called money bags <laughs> I do like that they're letting us summon the chocobo for storage in a lot of places so can I just drive this thing time to set sail you take the helm this is your ship now why does this remind me of Vivi flying the airship <laughs> is that for when you get money or spend money not sure actually <laughs> So you started as thief? Had trouble finding groups around 35. Oh yeah, and then swapped to ranger. Played that for a while and then bard. Yeah, bard had a really easy time getting groups. Except for at, like between like 41 to 54, it was hard because red mages had refresh. And if a crystal were here, he would immediately probably give me an angry look for being a red mage and taking away all of his bard parties. <laughs> I'll give you a guided tour of the ship. Use that ladder when you want to disembark. When you want to come back aboard, stand directly below the ship and press the confirm button. Press the confirm button to re redline the engine so the ship can clear small mountains when you fly at them. That's cool. Eat to halt by pressing the confirm button when over land. You can steer from the helm. Are we clear? Yeah, it's good enough, I guess. Follow you. Okay, I already saw these stories though. Oh, hey, also, there was a hair on my face. There was a cat hair on my face. That's what happened. The vending corner. That's cute. I already, yeah, I totally already checked that out. Yeah, I played Red Mage when I played FF11. Because <laughs> I started as Red Mage. That was the class that I started with. And I just always really loved it. I did eventually level Bard some. Oh, I'm sorry, Fairly. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to find people to play Eleven with anymore. I know that there are like, I think there's a couple of servers like that are fan run that are 75 level cap, but I just don't. Like, man, I don't have the kind of time to dedicate to that. <laughs> Vivi's doing their best. Yes, they are. I agree, Trop. I also use my magic so the fat chocobo can be summoned in the cubby behind me. Come on out, big fella. Fat chocobo appeared. Yay! You could rest up in that bed over there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go to Doga. You're leaving already? That's right. I trust you can handle what lies ahead. What matters now is you obtain the fang of Earth. It rests in the Cave of Shadows, north of Amur. Once you have it, return to Doga's Manor. There's something we still need to give you. It's up to you now. We'll meet again at Doga's, I'm certain. Your name left the party. We'll miss you, Nana. All aboard. Oh my god, what the f This ship's so big! This ship is huge! Why are we so chunky? We are... We are very chonk. Also, 
also, I just, I wanted to do like an actual save because we hadn't made an actual save since we entered the ancient ruins. Silver, how are you doing? Hi, Drake. We are... Well, they want us to go get the Fang of Earth. But I don't know what we're gonna do, honestly. Great question. We could go do that. I guess. I guess we could go do that. Mm, I'm gonna go with Lunar Whale personally. But you know me, I'm very biased when it comes to FF4, so. <laughs> No, the original game didn't have mini maps. Oh, do you mean the animated versions of 8 Bit Theater, Aliosa? Because 8 Bit Theater was originally a comic, but I think they made a few animated ones too. Um, also, I, I, I thought that she said to just hold button to go over mountains but I know go over mountains <laughs> hey chat did I like not at I guess I didn't actually pay attention to what the hell she said for going over mountains I don't know what she said how how do mountains Idea. Was there a spell in the original game you used to see the map? Yeah, there is a bread item still in this game that lets you see the world map, but I, I bought one and then never used it. Oh, you can only go over, I guess, like one square ones or something? Well, then this ship is useless to me! It's not really. It's, I guess we can still go do what we were supposed to do. But I, 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 listen, I wanted to go exploring and the game gave me an airship saying I could go over mountains and then they're like, haha, fooled you. Rude.
Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Lunar Whale is definitely better than this ship. Four wheelsies. Cave of Shadows. Hey, stranger. I have come here from Felgabar to further my training. Be careful of the monsters in this cave. They multiply when attacked with normal swords. Oh. What about spears? Yeah, I can't wait for the return trip. When the hell? Since when did you get petrified? Did that happen? I guess that happened and I just didn't notice. Dungeon. I feel like I'm probably going to want to flee from a lot of enemies just to not have to deal with this. Because <laughs> I already dealt with this! I already did this in the ancient tunnel place. Ow, you jerks. things a lot. Sir, are you alright? I thought I'd mastered the Dark Blade. I was wrong. Perhaps it was fate that brought us together. Here, take this sword. Receive Kotetsu. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh no, no! I really want a blueberry snow cone! <laughs> I need snow cone now. I really need a snow cone. I'm like, where the hell can I even get a snow cone? I can't get a snow cone anywhere at 11 p.m. What about, hang on, what about tiger's blood snow cones? Wait, how come, 
How come dark knights in this game use what sound like ninja swords? Was dark knight just ninja? I feel like it's entirely possible that Dark Knight swords don't make them multiply. I just haven't tested that hypothesis. Mostly because I don't care about these enemies. I guess I could, I guess I could try it. I mean, that's assuming that I even have any equipment, which I freaking don't, but it'll be funny to try it. So sure, why not? Tranquilizer. Blade Blitz. Sure, let's see what happens when I use this. Oh! Hey, well, I was right. I was correct that this sword apparently doesn't do that, so that's me. But also, Spoonie's dead, so... Because <laughs> I don't have any armor. Wow! Also, yo, did you see the Dark Knight death thing? You just did an empty thing of armor. That's kind of terrifying. I'm scared of what that means for when you're a dark knight. That's really creepy. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, so we're not gonna be able to actually use dark knight because we literally don't have any armor, but that is good to know that that is in fact the case for the this particular type of monster is that those swords. Are useful. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just gonna keep running away then. Heck it! Oh yeah, they got rid of that, Neo. They don't penalize you for swapping jobs anymore, and I'm super happy because that's like as fun, if not more unfun, than Final Fantasy II's original thing of, hey, by the way, when you punch stuff, you can you lose intellect. So I'm glad they got rid of that because I definitely am all about fun. Fun is good. Oh, no worries, Alios. And thanks for joining us. I hope you rest well. Have a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow, too. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of love the fact that in Final Fantasy 2, you could just equip two shields and punch yourself to increase your health. I thought it was hilarious. Yami, like if you if you try to build characters to do specific things, it probably wasn't like the worst thing ever. It's just 
Nowadays, the idea of losing stats just, it just sounds not fun to me. So I'm glad that the Game Boy Advance version didn't have that. It sounds like something that was an interesting experiment, but just didn't turn out super fun. Whoa, this place is hella confusing. Also, yes, there is a bird in the top right corner. That's my Congo African Grey parrot named Nolly. She's kind of like our mascot here. She's adorable. Oh, good. This was a treasure. <gasps> Genji gloves! Shut up! No way! Oh my god, that must be a Dark Knight thing. Dude, I seriously think Dark Knight was basically ninja. Which means I totally do want that. I just, I need gear. I need to buy gear. You have an African Grey named Logan? Oh, nice, Rick! Is that, do you have a Congo or a Timna? We've had Ollie for like 12 years? Let's see. I guess I should probably heal us. Since we've been running away to fight again another day. I wonder, maybe I'll pick up enough Dark Knight gear in here somewhere to switch. Just the problem is stuff hits way too hard for us to not be wearing any armor. That guy really likes his sword. Oh, no worries, Neo. Uh, her name is Ollie. Whoa. I feel like this was probably a lot harder to figure out in the original as well, because you probably didn't actually get to see the pathways. Aw, Logan's three just joined their family two weeks ago. That's super exciting. I hope Logan's settling in in his new home world. Well, I said world, but I meant well. Trust me, it's not, it's not you, it's me. My brain is, I don't know, like a vat of potatoes this week. Like, this is such a cool concept, but it would have driven me up the wall. <laughs> hey, Three Sided Coin, how are you today? Kiku Ichi Mungi, oh. Is that, um, this? Yeah, that's another sword. Cool. Could I perhaps get some Dark Knight armor? That would be dope! Oh, he took a shine to your grandson and they're always together. Oh, that's so sweet! <laughs> I'm glad you hear you settling in well. Let's do a quick save, because quick saves are nice. Yep, exactly, Sinataki. It would have driven me up the wall, just like when people mock Titus for the laughing scene. Showing that I, I really just don't think they understood the point of it. We talked about that yesterday, though. I won't get, I won't go into it again. <laughs> Listen, I can't have the same rant two streams in a row. Ooh, 
treasure? Yay, there's treasure down there. I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, I gotta have at least one stream in between the rants. Oh, he likes to sit on the back of your gaming chair? Nice! Ollie does that on my husband's gaming chair when we're sitting in the living room playing together. Genji shield? And a back attack. Wow, death ball looks scary. Not sure what mix of things that is, but I'm running away from it. Yesterday, but some people just misunderstand what it's for. Oh, is there anything that we there is a treasure I wanted? Give me the treasure. Give me the treasure. Hi, Ollie. Ooh, a Genji helm. I wonder if maybe that means we will get some Genji armor in the last chest. Maybe? Maybe? Perhaps? Perhaps a singular Genji armor? That would be amazing! I will take one Genji armor, please. That level wise, I'm not going to regret constantly running from everything here. But even if I do, honestly, I won't because um, it's not like I haven't done things too low level before anyway. Treasure some more. Ten hits? Holy shnikes! That's a lot. Ow, my everything. This is not where the treasure was. Heck! <laughs> it's a different title! <laughs> no! <laughs> it was right there the entire time. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna have to go. I gotta go. Ugh, it was that one. Shoot. I wish I had just checked that. That was silly of me. It's okay! your attention. Oh, he just, he just give me some sugar. 
That's cute. Um, Ollie learned how to say, hey, honey. Because the angry trees and I call each other honey. You having a snack, Ollie? You having a snack? So close to treasure. Give, give the treasure chest. Yay! It was Genji armor. Okay, dope. I am going to swap Spoonie to Dark Knight. Now that we actually have a full set of armor. Because <laughs> I feel like that will be useful. Quick save. Whew, eventually we'll make it out of here, right? Eventually. Maybe I should just start fighting stuff though, now that I have now that I have a melee character that won't make them multiply. I guess. Although by now it's probably a bit too late for that. Now you have a Siberian Husky, Xavier, and an oh, and now Logan. Huh? Angry Trees and I don't really have like a a theme, I guess. Although so far we do have a Congo African Gray, and our cat is a Russian Blue Mix, so both of our pets are gray. <laughs> I guess that's a theme, sort of. Dang, man. That Dark Knight hits hard. It's good. Okay, yeah, that's right. It's the other tunnel. Oh, you had a family that had a Russian blue. He liked to lay on laps and you couldn't budge him. <laughs> but only in very specific times. Like sometimes after stream, she'll lay in my lap while Angry Trees and I play games together. But she does like to cuddle with us at night. Oh my God. Dark Knight squish dough. Dark Knight very squish. Everything hurt. Have a good night, Majin. Thank you for joining us. You have a wonderful night. All right, I'm gonna make one last quick save. Let's go touch the bang, and I'm sure nothing bad will happen, especially considering I'm going to run away from these enemies that happen to spawn on me right before I touch the thing. Yep. In regular fashion, you've got to have one last random battle after you've already prepared for the boss fight. Of course! It wouldn't be Final Fantasy without it. Touch! It's the Fang of Earth! Ooh, 
was it that broke this? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Who was it that broke the seal and released me from my summer? Something attacks the party. Hecaton chair. Where's the chair? Wait, wait, what's the chair? It definitely did good damage. Sadly, that's the only one of that I can cast, so how about you, you like Thundagas? Heck, a ton of chairs. Hi, Tupon, how are you doing? here <laughs> so do we get the fang or not because doesn't obtain it <laughs> I don't know Bardo just gonna have to roll with it, I think. Well, I got, I got the Fang of Earth, maybe. Uh, does that mean that I can like go past the angry statues now? I think that means I can go past the angry statues. Well, now 
now time to um, definitely not remember how I got here in the first place. to leave this diddly darn cave, please. I just, I just want to leave this entire area and never come back. How do I like the invincible? It's cool, but also kind of lame that it can only pop over small mountains. I was expecting something a little more impressive. But you know what? I can't hop over a mountain, so I don't know if I really got room to talk, you know? Excuse me? You just, you just did this jump. I would like to earn my freedom, please. How do I escape this hell? I literally don't remember how I got here. for some of the XP that we missed out on. And we're getting lots of money for when we inevitably run into more spells and stuff. Which is also nice. That's a plus. Oh, thank goodness. We're out of that hell hole. That's good. Yay, we did it. We left. We left, y'all. We did it. Woohoo! There, and I spent all my money. demon stuff that I could have bought was actually worse than what I found anyway, so now I definitely don't feel bad not buying it. Rest! I also do really like that there are shops in my ship and also a place to rest up and heal my charges and stuff. That's really nice. statues are? 
perhaps those statues will not be so angry now. Or, you know, if they are, then maybe, um... Maybe I can just punch them. Maybe I can punch the statues. Y'all think punching a statue will work out okay? I think it'll be okay. I actually don't remember where the statues were. over. <laughs> really, the only boss fight I've had trouble with so far is Salamander, and we eventually just, like, punched it in the face repeatedly until I won anyway. So it all worked out. I just want to hop over there. I can't. Sadness. Nothing ever goes wrong in a Final Fantasy game, Waffo. Of course not. Maybe it was up here? Yeah! Here's the statues. Woo! What? you rude I had listen I have some cool fangs and I would very much like to prove that you stink poopy butt farts and punch you until you die yeah like that boom ba 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 cool Hi, Simana. How are you doing? Hello, magician. I'm punching some statues real good. Oh, I see. Okay, now that we've punched all the statues, there's a little happy place. Hippity hop 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 with your airship hop. Welcome back, Rix. I don't know if I would say there's less destruction than gym leader gates. There's a, probably at least equal. <laughs> even up here anyway. That's what I've been wanting to know real this whole time. What the heck's up here? Because this is one of those things where it feels kind of like more final-ish, but I don't think that it is because there are definitely places on the map I can think of that we have not been able to access. Like where Leviathan is. Oh, oh wait a minute! <gasps> oh! Hey, this is that place where when everything was underwater, this is, this was there, is it? Is this the crystal tower like in FF14? to the Crystal Tower in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm gonna um, attempt to set my airship down. <laughs> oh man, I, yeah, I 
hope there's a hot cat boy here. The Ancient's Maze. Man, that's cool. Gra yeah, Graha or Riot. <laughs> Hi, Conkers. How are you doing? Earth crystal. Wait, this is. Whoa, s uh, slow the heck down. The earth crystal's just here? The earth crystal. Wait, it's the earth crystal, but something attacks. You're surrounded. On Master Zandy's orders, you will all be swallowed by darkness. Oh boy. Titan? Sir, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on my side or something? This seems not correct. Why do you have a sword instead of punching stuff? Also, weren't you just a stack of chairs? I feel like you were just a stack of chairs not long ago. This Titan's a phony! ability. Right, everyone? You all remember Titan using um, Flare? probably dead. Oh my god, how are we alive right now?
I'm waiting. Be impatient. Ne everything's totally fine. We're totally fine. How are you? Oh boy. <laughs> Less fine. <laughs> Well, I sure do love resurrecting people and then them immediately dying. Let's try that again, maybe? Are you serious, Titan? Rude! That was really, really rude, uncalled for. How dare you? Absolutely unacceptable. living, sort of. Oh boy, I'm all out of curas. Well, 
Unfortunately, I could only cast it once. I'm tempted to use the black hole and see what happens, but I also will be sad if it does nothing. But I want to try it. Please tell me that this is X zone and it works on this boss, because it would be funny. Damn it! <laughs> Final Fantasy. I knew it was a long shot. Wow, that was a really big flare. Care to explain why you just straight up murdered me there, Titan? It's 
slightly less fine. try, but this may not go well. <laughs> that was funny. Nope. Good God. This guy's an asshole. Titan? No, he doesn't use Ancient Flare. That's, uh, that's the behemoth fight. No, this titan's just a jerk. I mean, I feel like the dragoon ability to jump's definitely helping. It's really unfortunate we can only cast bio once, because that did like 1500 damage. Oh wait, no, you're right, Vital. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of the behemoth fight where it kills sprouts because they stand in meteor. That's what I'm thinking of. Hmm. I'm wondering though if maybe Dark Knight's not the best job choice for this fight. I wonder... No, you know what? I'm gonna try Reflective Mail and see what it does. Let's try this one more time with Guardian instead of Dark Knight and see how it goes. This is a rough fight, but actually I'm having fun. myself again. Bit of a lower roll on bio, unfortunately, but I'll still take it.
beginning. Dope. He is really enjoying spamming Quake. Have a good one, Cole. Thank you for joining us. of Rubicante. That's fair. I mean, who isn't jealous of Rubicante sauce? taking care of that anyway, so we're fine. Oh my god! Wow! I have no idea how that didn't kill me, but I am okay with it for sure. Okay, I'm gonna use the last of this and hope that we don't diddly die like that. Oh gosh.
to bring back white mage, maybe? totally do that because I, I beat up Titan and my ship's literally right here. Can I just like go take a nap? <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, alright. I mean, I kind of figured that would be the case. This is fine. Well, I guess if Titan's back, then we'll just have to beat him up again, Q. Titan 2, Electric Boogaloo? Touch. It's the fourth and final crystal. The Earth Crystal. Warriors of Light, the mortal known as Zande is using my powers for the utmost evil. He plans to drown the world in darkness. You must use the power within me to cast away the cloud of darkness. That sounds cool. Do I get to go to the tower? Oh. <gasps> Received a new title from the Earth Crystal. Magis, Devout, and Summoner jobs now available. Ooh, cool. Oh my god, it's Circus Tower! We do 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 circus, pop boop pop do 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 circus, pop do 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 pop do do do. I have been here in Final Fantasy fourteen. It's a conductor for light. Zande plans to use it to amplify our powers and summon the cloud of darkness. Go now to Circus Tower and stop Zande, Warriors of Light! I know it's probably Circus or something, but I'm still calling it Circus. Cool. I go to Cool Tower now. Maybe. My oh. Oh my god, actually, I think I am supposed to go further that way, but wait, hang on, hold the phone. I'm not ready for that, it's midnight. Listen, it's midnight, it is my pumpkin time, I need to go poof and eat dinner. Spoonie don't got time for this right now. I already beat the crap out of fake Titan. That's just gonna have to be where we stop for now. <laughs> Also, thank y'all for the GG's. That fight was actually a lot of fun. That one, I felt like, was genuinely challenging instead of just cheap like salamanders, so I liked it. Okay, I am going to go ahead and call it a night here. We've been live for about five hours since I did start a little late today. I feel like we made really good progress. We got the Earth Crystal and some new jobs. So that means that tomorrow when I play more Final Fantasy 3, we get to check out what those new jobs are, as well as go to Circus Tower, which, um, full admit, I'm probably going to be squeeing because I did the Crystal Tower stuff in Final Fantasy 14. So there might be a bit of like weird reverse nostalgia for me there. 